Hello everybody, welcome to Ian's Bricks, I'm Ian and today as you can see behind me I've got another Lego haul, I've been spending money on Lego yet again. Uh, so most of these sets are actually for uh, for investment so I won't be opening any of these. Uh, hopefully I've got a few uh, sort of good deals, I've got a few items from lego.com which have been some really good free gifts at the moment. I've got something from Amazon and something as well from Argos which was uh, home delivery service, hence the rather dodgy plastic bag. Uh, we'll show, get to that in a minute though but firstly I just want to say a big thank Thank you uh, to a friend of mine, Duncan. He went to the recent uh, 2023 Star Wars celebration in London uh, and he managed to pick me up one of these, uh, which is one of the little tiles that you can uh, that you got if you went. I think you had to spend over a certain amount of money there. Uh, he got a couple of these apparently and uh, said, well, I've got one for myself, so you can have one as well. So thank you very much to, uh, to Duncan for that. Uh, that's the piece number, by the way. It does come with sort of an official sticker on there with a piece number. But yeah, just a nice little two by four tile there. So really, really pleased to get one of those so thank you very much Duncan for getting me that uh, but for the rest of the things I think we'll start with uh, this bag here but I'm going to move everything onto the floor first of all so it just makes things a little bit easier for me first item to open then is this and this came from Argos so uh, as you may be seen from one of my um, uh, earlier videos recently uh, I went to Argos to pick up some Star Wars sets which were heavily reduced uh, that was sort of during the week I went to three different Argos stores because you're only allowed to get one from each store but a very very good deal on the uh, uh, trash compactors from the Star Wars diorama range uh, and uh, I think I went online again on the Sunday and for whatever reason they were available for home delivery and I thought oh shall I do it because the home delivery service Service can be a little bit dodgy sometimes in the fact that they deliver things in plastic bags rather than boxes and uh, I wasn't disappointed basically and yes my items were delivered in plastic bags as you can see now I have actually already opened this normally with most of my hauls I do keep everything sealed until the day but I can't thought oh if it's really badly damaged I'll probably want to send these things back so uh, anyway this is what I got let me just pop this down here for now and take the things out of the bag so the boxes are slightly damaged as you'd expect uh, just to prove that they're from Argos you see the Argos sticker on the back uh, so this is the first box here uh, the front of which is actually not too bad there's a tiny little crease at the top there which you can maybe see that's really nothing uh, and on the back uh, there is a little bit of damage there they've obviously had one of those security tags around it maybe from Sainsbury uh, and you can see the line down the back there but actually it's not too bad I think you know this is the kind of thing that you could sell on maybe just mention you've got a little bit of box very very minor box damage really so that's not too bad that one uh, and the other one that I got I'll just take that out of the bag there uh, again not too bad not the greatest uh, you've got a bit of a bit of a crease in the corner there which you can maybe just see there's a little bit of a crease on the top so a little little bit more damage this one but as you can see really it's very very cosmetic there's nothing nothing too major about either of the boxes seems to be a little bit of a, a rip or a tear in the top of the box there again there's no sort of great big hole or anything so it's not too bad so overall even though this is probably the reason why I don't order from Argos so much um, online and for deliveries because the boxes just tend to be not perfect and I am a bit sort of fussy about how my boxes arrive but these were £50 in the UK reduced from uh, 80 pounds um, I did actually there was some kind of voucher that I could use for five pound off uh, but then the post and packing cost 395 so that kind of cancelled that out um, but I did do it through uh, one of the um, cashback websites as well I think I only got around about a couple of pounds in cashback it really wasn't a great amount so I did try and uh, get other sort of things as well with it to make it a little bit cheaper but uh, but ultimately uh, they pretty much cost me around about um, around about 50 pounds uh, each just a little bit less than that so please to get some more so a little bit of damage on these here uh, but uh, hey I mean it's not the end of the world I think if you sell these things I've done a couple of things before I've sold on at my Lego fairs and if you put on there that the boxes are slightly damaged as long as you're clear about it I don't think that's a major problem at all so that shouldn't really affect too much of that so shall we get into some of these bigger items here I've got a nice big Lego box just here let's get into this now I've got three of these Lego boxes and I actually can't remember what's in each of the three boxes I sort of remember what I've ordered, but uh, I can't actually remember what's in each specific box. Uh, 
Okay. Right, okay, so this is my... Oh, I can't remember which one this is. Oh, yes, I remember which one. So, okay, so we'll talk free gifts first of all. So this is something that I ordered towards the end of Easter. So this is the one with the Easter free gifts in it. Um, so the first free gift we have is this. Now, these tend to be really rattly, so I'll try not to move them too much. 406... 060 spring VIP add-on pack. Now, I only managed to pick up one of these previously, so this is the only one of two that I've got now. This is probably one of the better VIP um, packs that you can get for free, or could have got for free. There's a couple of bicycles in there, a wheelbarrow, some really, really interesting pieces. There's even a, a little lamb and a bunny rabbit, so really, really nice VIP add-on pack. I think you had to spend over £45 in the UK to get that, so really nice to get myself another one of those. I would have liked to get more of those, but they just ran out in stores quite quickly. I think they were very, very popular, so at least I've got another one of those, so pleased about that. And the other free gift, is the Easter one and this is 40587 this is the Easter bunny uh, Easter basket it's called actually Easter bunny in an Easter basket really nice set these I think I've got uh, five or six of these now I really like these uh, I tend not to go too mad on Easter promotions from Lego because the sets tend not to do brilliant brilliantly the free gifts sort of when you try and sell them on but uh, I just quite like these and I think they're nice little boxes as well and the spend wasn't too high I think it was a hundred uh, was it £95, I think, maybe in the UK? I might be wrong. But anyway, so not, not a bad spend to get this particular free gift. So nice to get another one of those. So what did I spend my £95 on? So uh, the small set that I got just to make the price up is this here. 40461. This is a tulip set. This is apparently retiring at the end of the year. Uh, this was originally listed with the Roses set, but the Roses apparently won't be retiring now, probably until about... 2026 but apparently this one is still on the retirement list we'll have to wait and see whether it does or not just a quite nice little sit 8.99 in the uk um so nice to get another one of those and the main set that i bought oh look at this fabulous i do love this set this is an amazing set the galaxy explorer 10497. Uh, I've got this set and I built it. It's a fantastic set. It's apparently retiring at the end of the year, which I'm really, really surprised that it is because it's only been out, it was only released last year, so very, quite a short shelf life. 89.99 in the UK, but on this whole order, I used some of my Lego VIP points and cashed in and made a £20 voucher. So I actually basically got £20 off this because this really is only available from Smith's Toys and from Lego in the UK. Smith's Toys had these reduced last year a little bit, but they only ever really take 20% off so it's not a huge amount so with all the VIP points and the gifts with purchase and also with this there was a voucher at the time for I think it was cat voucher cloud in the UK uh, and it was spend over 75 pounds you just went through the link through their website and you got a 15 pound discount now that came through so I actually have I've already got that uh, which I've turned into an Amazon voucher so I don't class that as part of my purchase price. The purchase price will be the £20 off from the Lego VIP points, uh, but I also got a, um, another sort of £15 voucher which I'll use for other things from Amazon uh, in the future. So yeah, I kind of really did sort of stack up on all the deals and discounts when I was buying this, uh, so really, really pleased to get all of those deals. Right, let me just pop that there. Next box then, this is from lego.com also, um, and again, I can't actually remember what's in this one. Right, okay. So, uh, right, shall we talk free gifts first of all? So this is from lego.com again. So this is a slightly different um, set of uh, free gifts with purchase. These were from April onwards. And I think it was spend over £95 in the UK. Let me get this out. And you've got this city set here, which is 40582. So this is quite a nice set. It's 4x4 ambulance. I sold one of these at my last Lego fair, and it went for about, I think it was about £18 I sold this. But yeah, they go about £15 to £18. So not the greatest kind of thing to sell on, but I think it's quite a nice little set. You get three minifigures. That's not bad at all. So nice to get one of those. Uh, and the other thing that I managed to get free gift with purchase is this lovely set here i do like this this is the flower pot 40588 unusual sort of part design on this you sort of have this balloon piece 
which goes to make up the base and all the flowers coming out the top so just an interesting uh, uh, usage of parts I think for this uh, I think this has been selling for as high as 40 pounds on the aftermarket in the UK but I think the price that is actually starting to come down they're going for maybe about 25 pounds now so that's fairly standard for these kind of gifts with purchase if you don't, don't sort of sell them within the first week or so they do tend to go down in prices but I like to take these things to my Lego fairs they kind of sell on quite well so uh, pleased to get myself another one of those I picked one of these from the Lego store recently uh, so what did I spend I think I had to spend over 130 pounds to get all of these free gifts so um, the main thing that I got is this here Disney Ideas. Is it Ideas? Yes, it is Ideas. It's on Winnie the Pooh. So this is set number 21326. Now, I did pay full price for this, which is 89 99 in the UK. Ouch. Very, very high price. I normally wouldn't pay full price for this, but this is available again from Argos in the UK. So you've seen the problem that we've had with um, with Argos before about limiting how many sets you can get about their deliveries not being great and I know that maybe last year or the year before these were with these were selling I think for were they 60 pounds each maybe even less than that I think people were getting some really really good deals with these but unfortunately my local Argos's and Sainsbury's never had any of these I never got a chance to get these at a discounted rate so because I think uh, uh, they're um, they're going to be very very popular. I know that the individual minifigures themselves are all sort of specially moulded uh, heads and things and pieces. They're just this is just going to be a very very popular set. And even though I'm paying full price for this, yes, I get my VIP points and things like that. I definitely think it's worth it. You get the free gifts with purchase as well. So even though yes, I'm technically paying full price for this, I get other things to sort of offset the value of that but uh, I just think this will do well once it's retired anyway look I mean if these do come up on Argos at a reduced price in the future I'll be there but for now I think I'm just quite happy to pick some more of these up as and when I'm sort of getting free gifts with purchase um, because they're, they're reasonably difficult to get hold of at discounted rates in the UK so nice to get one of those what else do we have so I bought some brick heads to make up the numbers so I've gone for this one here Woody and Bo Peep, 40553. Uh, this is apparently retiring at the end of the year. Uh, the other one in this series, Buzz, retired last year. Uh, but I don't have um, any of these. I think it's maybe the first one of these that I've got, maybe the second. But uh, yeah, this is retiring. This should do okay once retired. You do know I like my brick heads. Because brick heads are only available from um, Legos, Lego stores in the UK uh, and from Lego.com, that's why you kind of have to pick them up from there. So you're never going to really get these reduced in price. Uh, but uh, yeah, pleased to get one of those. Uh, so the other brick heads I got with this, Chip and Dale, another one of the ones retiring this year, 40550. Uh, this is the Rescue Rangers version of Chip and Dale. Again, nice set, retiring at the end of the year. Brickheads only available from Lego. And then the final brickhead that I got was this here. Uh, this is 40476. This is Daisy Duck. I've got a few of these. These have actually been out for quite a while now. I was hoping these would retire a lot, a lot earlier than they did, but uh, I just needed something to make up the money, really, and uh, I was sort of limited. You're very lim limited sometimes to what you can buy from lego.com um, because things like a Sokotano brickhead, which I'd probably buy more of, there's literally a lim limit of two online. I used that up a long time ago. So I'm having to get sets with um, that I haven't sort of used my limits up on lego.com which can be quite difficult sometimes but I'm fairly happy with that I think this should do okay once retired but probably have to hang on to this for a couple of years before I maybe sell that one on now with this particular order obviously I got my VIP points as well um, I did also at the time there was a special other free gift on one of the other websites and that is contained in here and I've already been in this and had a quick look because the, the side of the box was <laughs> was uh, was open. Now I only managed to get one of these, and here it is. So now it's upside down, of course, as they always are in these boxes. But it's this fabulous Charles Dickens set here now. Um, these are great. These are 40410 is the set number. And these were released, I think, in 2020, maybe 2021. 
what's the date on the back there? Uh, 2020. So they're from a few years ago, and I don't know whether Lego just found um, a stock of them somewhere in their warehouse that they didn't know about, and suddenly there was this offer on, um, um, I think it was Telegraph voucher codes here in the UK, um, and uh, you literally had to use the code put the code in, place your order, and uh, you got this free set. Now, I had a real problem getting that code to work. I tried at midnight when the first offers came out for the new gift with purchase, it didn't work. I tried the next morning, just kept trying, trying, and reading on other channels and, and chats and things that that some people's were working, some people weren't. Mine wasn't working, um, so I ended up just placing the order anyway, using the voucher code, and then I had to, once the order had been confirmed, I phoned up Lego and said, look, I've placed this order, I've been trying to get this voucher code for this Charles Dickens set to work. Um, so I spoke to a really nice lady, and she had a word with her supervisor, and lots of faffing around, really. But she sort of, she honoured it, said, look, we have still got some in stock. Um, so we have to place a separate order. So she basically put this in a separate order, which is why it came in a separate box. Um, I did only manage to get one of these. I know other people got more than one, so if you did get more than one, lucky for you. But I'm still quite pleased with one now. I think I sell these at my Lego fairs. I sold one recently for, was it 30 to 35 pounds? So they're, they're a really nice little set. Box condition is excellent. Um, I don't think there'll be any more of these available here in the UK. I think this was that, that was literally the last, the last lot that Lego had hidden away somewhere. So really, really pleased to get one of those. Um, I did all, also use one of the um, top uh, um, voucher cloud discounts as well. They had an offer for this for spend over £100, which I did and get £25 off. Uh, again, that for me hasn't worked, so I'm going to need to contact them to try and get that voucher to work. So the whole order was a bit of a faff, really. Uh, but sometimes you have to do these things to get these discounts, extra sets and extra discounts. So it's always worth trying these things. But yeah, when they don't work and you have to faff around phoning people, well, that sort of it does put me off. It's a, just a pain, really. But you know, I wish they, I wish if they're going to advertise something that, that they work, that their offers and things work, and they and they get credited to you because it's a real pain when you have to sort of phone them up, and you know, you're just wasting your time, really. But at the end of the day, I've got some decent free gifts there, some decent sets, so I'm pretty pleased with all of that. So I'm going to have to have another reorganised. Got another big box to open, another nice big Lego box here. Then let's get this one open. Right, free gifts first of all. So we have the same free gifts as last time. We have the 4x4 four four, uh, city um, ambulance there. Another one of those. And we also have another one of the flower pot sets as well. So £130 spend in the UK to get that. So I spent a little bit more than that. I bought myself, oh goodness me, a very big set. And of course it's upside down. Oh my goodness me. There we go. Friends, I'll be there for you and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is the Friends Apartment, set number two, no, 10292. Really big set, this, over 2,000 pieces. Um, I don't actually have this uh, myself that, that, that I built. I've bought one of these, I think, previously for investment, but I just love this set. Quite a short shelf life. It's quite a high price, £160 in the UK, so it's not a cheap set, uh, but I think this will do really, really well. I think Friends is sort of going to be eternally popular, and I think this set, um, after a couple of years, I think will do very, very well. You've got some exclusive minifigures in there as well. All the Friends, um, as well as Janice. Uh, so I think this will do really, really well once it's retired. So pleased to get one of those. Um, I think I did another voucher cloud discount on this one um has that one worked yet i can't remember whether that one's worked i think i think it probably did i think i used a yes i did that was right i used a spend over a hundred pounds to get 20 pounds off even though the actual amount of the discount that came through was like 16 pound 67 which is a little bit weird but i'm not going to complain about that uh, and of course i've got my vip points as well as you normally would for this set so no sort of direct discounts for this particular set uh, i will still class this as being bought for 160 pounds uh, but yeah really nice set to get with those extra free gifts and of course you always get those vip points as well which always help which is five percent off uh, future purchases right i've got one more box 
which is the only box I've got this time from Amazon. Uh, there have been some okay deals on Amazon, but sort of nothing, nothing great recently. Where's my knife? Um, and I actually can't remember what's in here. But when they arrive, I do always love them. I've got a spreadsheet where I keep, keep a list of everything that I buy. I tend to update it once every couple of weeks. Have a look back through what I've ordered and the price I've paid for them. And that sort of keeps track on things. Oh yes, I can remember now. So, um, we have this set here, Speed Champions. Uh, I like this set. This is a Ferrari, uh, the 1970 Ferrari 512M, whatever that means. Uh, this uh, 76906. I built this really nice little set to build. Uh, these are £20 normally in the UK, but Amazon uh, in the UK were doing these for £15 recently. Uh, so I thought I'd get myself some more of these. I bought some of these last year from Amazon at £12. I don't think they're going to go down. Uh, to £12 again, so I thought while they're at £15 I'll buy some more of those. I don't mind that it's 25% discount still, but it's okay. So I've not only got myself one of those, but I got two, three, and four of those. And I have to say, at first glance, all the boxes are in absolutely fantastic condition. There we go, that's everything from this particular haul. Uh, I think I've done quite well there. Um, yeah, there's some really good discounts on there, like from Argos, even though the, the sets are minor damage on there. Um, and only the one thing's from uh, from Amazon, so that's, you know, that's kind of okay. Happy to get some more of those uh, uh, Ferrari sets. Uh, but the main thing really is from Lego and the discounts and the other stack discounts as well. I think there's been quite a few decent things to have, especially it helps when you sort of get additional promotions like these things from Voucher Cloud, which seem to be sort of continuing at the moment here in the UK so they're very very good things to use just literally if you're in the UK just search for voucher cloud it's quite easy to set up an account and just search for Lego deals and you'll see these sort of vouchers for spend 15 pounds spend over 75 pounds get 15 pound off 100 pounds get 20 pounds off these kind of things so keep an eye out for those because they're always willing always worth uh, worth getting and they do work most of the time I say I've had about three of these things work for me now one of them hasn't uh, which I will be chasing up but uh, yeah, they're a very, very good thing because you can literally, they, they, they translate into money, into vouchers very, very quickly. Uh, and I've been able to cash those in uh, and I've been spent, you know, been able to turn them into Amazon uh, vouchers and then I can just buy stuff off Amazon at a, a reduced price or with a, with a gift card. So uh, really nice to get some of these bigger sets as well, like the Friends Apartment. We've got Winnie the Pooh and the Galaxy Explorer. These are the sets that I'm sort of interested in getting more of as the year goes on. I mean, we're already into late April now and getting into early May. So there's not, these aren't, these aren't going to be on, on shelves for that much longer. Sort of once you get sort of past July and August sometimes the popular sets uh, like these sets potentially things like Winnie the Pooh could probably be quite difficult to get I remember the Sesame Street set from last year here in the UK I think once you got past September it was almost impossible to get hold of so this is why I'm buying these sets early potentially if they're going to be retiring now we don't know for sure whether they all will be retiring at the end of the year but potentially they will so this is why i'm buying these sets now and doubling up with all these gift with purchases and vouchers and things like that always makes things worthwhile anyway enough from me for now i do hope you've enjoyed this haul thank you very much for watching as always thank you to all my likers commenters and subscribers that's always much appreciated until the next video we'll see you soon take care for now bye